just made it to Orange Street right now. There's a big sign right behind me and there's a couple of sneaker stores here, a couple of streetwear stores here. As I told you guys before, I did a video here last year, so check it out. But we're gonna head over to Billy's first. It is a sneaker store here in Japan, a very big franchise. You could say it's very similar to like livestock uh, in Toronto and in like Winnipeg and Vancouver. So very first store, Billy's, let's check it out. They have like a shattered backboard display here at the front of the store. They made like kid versions? I don't know. Low tops, the mid tops, and the, oh wait, low tops, then the mid tops. We got some magazines here too, a Billy's magazine. And then we also have the uh, the new Yeezys that just came out, the Stone 500s, and we have the Instapump uh, Adidas collab right here as well. Here's a look at their Air Force One selection, another thing we haven't really seen before. Here's a look at the Jordans and Air Max sneakers that they have, nothing really catching my eyes at the moment. Here's a look at the uh, Hospital Blue Yeezy Boost 700 V2s they have, these are 37,000 yen. They also have these Yeezy Boots still sitting, this is the only colorway, actually no, they have more than one. They have all the other colorways here too, so lots of Yeezy Boots sitting here in Japan. These are some funky looking Ultra Boost 19s. The tongue is what really caught my eye here. The tongue looks really, really cool. And these are actually on sale right now for 15,400 yen. These are cool, man. These are very, very loud. These are the Rubik's Cube Puma RSX Cubed. We got the Rubik's branding on the back right here. These are so loud. Bunch of other colorways of the RSX Cube. We have these ones that Champ sent me. These ones, check these out. Some Cell Aliens here too. We have a Buzz Lightyear inspired Puma RSX. They also have one of my favorite new sneakers right now, the Puma Rider. This is the blue and yellow colorway. They also have the Style Rider here as well, 11,000 yen. These are sick. These are the Puma LQD Cell Omega Densi. I've never seen these shoes before. The weird name also is throwing me off a lot. They also have a really good Good selection of Converse here and oh these are cool We've got these like sort of python looking canvas Converse Chuck Taylors right here these are different these are going for 8,000 yen and then their van selection is actually very very extensive as well they got a few of these deconstructed ones they got the black and white colorway they got this blue one next up we have Rinkan now Rinkan is probably one of my favorite secondhand like hypey stores in Japan they have several several locations in Shibuya and this is the uh, the major one here in Osaka there's Carla right there on the right check out his video he's doing an osaka playlist so you guys are probably gonna really enjoy binge watching that but check out the display window right here they have so much supreme they got the lv supreme bags right here they got some yeezys in the front as well for good measure a bunch of the murakami plushy pillow things and the latest and greatest in air jordan ones so uh yeah a lot of heat here a lot of heat wow the green the green on the kermit is like almost teal because of the sun's rays i guess by hitting it for so long but yeah that's a look at the display window let's go inside and check it out all right so it turns out we can't actually film inside of ring anymore there was like a no photography no video sign which is a little bit annoying um, but funnily enough I bumped into a subscriber named Kurt who just got here just now and told me he was watching my videos just a moment ago to find out where to shop in Osaka and I met him just in person at one of the stores in the shopping guide. How crazy is that? Like imagine watching one of my videos and then meeting me the next day in a foreign country. He's also from Toronto. Anyway, it's a really small world. Rinkan, I recommend you guys check out. It's definitely overpriced, but you might be able to find something you've been looking for for a long time and that might offset the cost of them being very, very expensive. The next store we're gonna go to is Lazy Hazy Planet. I've showed you guys this store in the past. It's a uh, more expensive store, so not everyone's gonna be wanting to shop here, but they have some pretty cool and unique stuff. Here's a look at these shoes right here. These are actually designed by the same guy who did the Balenciaga Triple S. The brand is Shoes 53045, and uh, look at that air unit there. That air unit is absolutely massive. It's bigger than my finger. Like that's not very often you see that. But this is the triple black colorway. These are uh, going for 30 or oh, 56,000 yen. And check it out. These are two other versions they have of the same shoe. This one's like all studded out here as well. Damn. And then down below, a few more colorways and a green one as well. In this corner, they have a few of the Ultra Boost 1.0s. So they have the neon yellow colorway right here. And then I have these back at home. This is the uh, the red colorway, you could call it. And they even have MCM slides. MCM slides amongst other MCM items. Like they have a really, really big selection of MCM, including backpacks. The store also has a massive Y3 collection. 
So check it out. They have a few different Y3 sneakers right here. The employees are pulling some more shoes to show me. These are the brand Stratica International. These are very expensive. They're about 60,000 yen. So they have this one right here. The inside of the shoe's cool too. It has like this cork material. And uh, yeah, these are not my style. Definitely not my style. I feel like these are shoes that like a rapper would wear. These sort of remind me of some supers right here. They have all these wild prints and combos, but it's just not a visually appealing shoe for me. And then here is the last one. This one looks a little more coordinated, but yeah, these are very, very expensive sneakers check it out too they have a bunch of really cool like jackets and outerwear up here crazy crazy prints these are some like prints i feel like you would find if you were to go like thrifting somewhere and then they have these these are like really nice designer bougie jackets So the next couple of stores I'm gonna show you are probably some of my favorites here on Orange Street. We got Supreme, we got Bape, and we got Undefeated. We're gonna check out Supreme, and I can't film in there at all. So let me just show you the uh, the front of Supreme, and then we'll get going to the next store. Now the next store we're gonna go to is called The Ground Depot. Now I was here last time in May, and they had a bunch of really dope brands, including Cav Amped, White Mountaineering, and a bunch of other uh, streetwear brands in Japan. So let's go inside and check it out. You guys know Cav Amps, one of my favorite Japanese streetwear brands, and they have a whole rack here dedicated to Cav Amps. So they have some long sleeve tees. This is the uh, new fall winter 2019 stuff. We have a long sleeve tee here too, with this like abstract design all over. Then they have this other tee, gray long sleeve as well. No designs are really popping out to me right now. A long sleeve sort of like athletic tee. And then they have a lot of jackets. I've never seen so many cap amp jackets in one store in my life, but I look, it looks like they have all these new ones that just dropped. This is really bold, man. This is something I feel like a bougie person in Paris would be wearing. These are really cool too. Very rugged and like workwear kind of style. Oh, oh, it's the same jacket, but it's reversible. So that's really cool. So the inside is this red and blue print with this furry kind of texture to it. And then the outside is like this all very thick denim kind of jacket. So that's really cool. We also have a vest here as well and then i have an olive bomber jacket and a couple other pieces here too so lots of cat vamp jackets none that really speak out to me but still very very dope seeing so much cat vamp in one store there's some really cool fall winter jackets like check these out this is a really loud all bright orange jacket and this one here looks like an oversized jacket with massive pockets in the front like i thought i thought my pocket was big but look how big this pocket is this is very very functional now, one brand I often see a lot of collaborating with Adidas is White Mountaineering, a Japanese streetwear brand. And I've actually never really seen White Mountaineering by itself without the Adidas collab. So they have a whole rack here, all White Mountaineering. I think Reggie Casual from The Casual actually recommended uh, them as like one of the top brands you should check out when it comes to Japanese streetwear. Definitely underrated. This jacket here is sick. Gore-Tex material all over too. So super, super practical and functional. I really like that they have the soldier material rubbed down like to the side here very very dope and then they have these really dope jackets too man so the next store we're going to be going into is called mspc product swords and i've never been here before but it is their osaka flagship store so let's go inside check it out it looks like they have a cafe inside of the store and they have a bunch of cool sneakers too so i'm pretty excited for this one So stepping into the store, the very first things you see are a bunch of Nike sneakers. So let's check it out. They have some Air Maxes right here, some 98s, some 95s, Element Reacts. Got the Air Force One types here as well. The black colorway, some new Air Force One drops too. We have these black and gray ones. We got the Gore-Tex I've been seeing everywhere. Can't seem to find the white high top or mid top here. Those are super, super popular. Next up, we have some Air Max 270 Reacts, a couple different colorways and some Air Max Pluses and a 720. It looks like they have a ton of different bags. Like this store has so many bags from what I can see and check it out. These are some, some fancy looking bags. So if you have a friend who loves bags or backpacks, you might want to check out the store. There might be a gift idea in here, but I'll just show you guys a quick run through of what they have it really has sort of like this businessman designer kind of vibe and usually when you think backpacks you think like i want to say child childish childish like college university maybe but this is some like grown man backpack right here man this is actually really dope
Here's another Japanese backpack or bag brand. This one is called Masterpiece or Global Standard Masterpiece, made in Japan since 1994. So it's one year older than me. And they have a bunch of really cool bags here as well. These ones have like pops of these colors, so orange and yellow. We have these very subtle ones here. They got this like really cool blue one, a black one. I really like the subtle uh, finish right here. It's like a metal clasp, really dope. We have a whole bunch of Pumas in the middle of the store here too. Wasn't expecting to find Puma in a store like this, but check it out. They got some LQD cells right here. This colorway is funky. Not a, it's, it's supposed to be like a performance basketball model, but this is not a shoe I feel like you'd wear on court. This really looks like a lifestyle colorway. We got this bread colorway at the Puma RSX. Favorite one that they have here would have to be the Puma RSX hard drive. And they even have some of the Chinatown market sneakers here as well. This store is really cool and it's a nice change of pace compared to like Babe and Supreme. But that said, this is very much like a grown man type of store. So if you're like a gentleman, maybe you like uh, going to different coffee shops in the areas all the time and you know, you like reading books. This this is a store I feel like you'd be into. Maybe hiking too. So there's like a lot of mixture of like outerwear, menswear, but not like hype streetwear or anything like that. Like if you like Babe and Supreme, this is a store that is probably not up your alley. So let me show you guys a couple more pieces from the store that I really, really like. And then We'll get going to the hypey store that we know, babe. And then undefeated, and then who knows what else. This side of the sneaker wall has a bunch of Adidas sneakers, including collaborations with White Mountaineering on the Night Joggers. So a couple of those. They got some Reebok and Sipone Furies, but these, these caught me off guard. They have the Les Benjamins Puma RSX Mid, and uh, I've never seen these ones in person before. And I really like these versions. Like this colorway looks really clean on the mid top, and uh, they have a few other ones here, like this olive green one. This olive green one is really, really dope, and I definitely see this being a really good fall, winter kind of shoe. The colorway that Puma gave me is more of like a basket basketball kind of looking shoe like a retro basketball style colorway but these right here are, are very practical for the fall and winter they're basically boots at this point like they're puma rsx boots the only thing they're really missing is like ice like better grip on the bottom i want to say and maybe some waterproofing but these look like they'll be pretty durable honestly there's like five to eight different backpack brands in the store or bag brands in the store and a lot of them are japanese so i know japanese bags are really really high quality if you're looking for some amazing bags this store has a lot of a lot of options <laughs> Now there's also a second floor as well. So we're gonna go on the second floor and see what they have here. So it looks like they have a lot of outdoors jackets here too, a lot of like winter heavy duty jackets. So nothing that's going to be wearable other than in the winter season. And one thing that really caught me off guard was these North Face boots. Didn't know, I didn't know that uh, North Face had boots like this. <laughs> you can match your, your jacket perfectly. They got the all black colorway, they got blue. They have a red one here as well. And then they have a yellow one too. So continuing our stroll down Orange Street, well, we got the Bape Store. I'll go there in a second, but right now I want to check out Undefeated because the other day, I got really lucky the other day and was able to pick up these Air Jordan 1 Mid Face Tasm collabs. And uh, these are the Fearless ones they're called. These are really dope, but they actually sold out at a lot of stores here in Japan. And uh, I managed to pick up one of the last ones in Undefeated yesterday. So let's go see if Undefeated has any more left. And uh, I'll show you guys some of the sneakers that I didn't really show you guys in the last video we did there. So these are really dope. They have these hoodies and undefeated and it's their in-house brand. We got really nice like embroidery right here on the side. This gray and green colorway. 
and uh, these are going for 26,000 yen. Then they also have one more in the back right here. This is the uh, the navy blue and red one. Really dope. I like these a lot, man. These are heavy duty. Like these are the same thickness as like Noah and Supreme hoodies, but it's undefeated. There's also some Japanese exclusive right here hoodies. We got this gray and red one. Has that college university kind of vibe. And then we have this red one here. I messed with these. And then uh, down below, we have another crew neck with this patch on it, massive, massive like patch on it. Checking out some of the t-shirts right here. They have some more Osaka exclusives. This white one here, this white and red colorway actually says Namba right here. And we got a little picture of Dotsumbori here as well. Let me just zoom in for you guys, show you guys what it looks like in the light. So that's really, really cool. They have this one shirt and then they have another one here that actually says Osaka. And then it has another, uh, another tourist attraction. I forget the exact name for this tower, but cool that they have some regional exclusive shirts right here too. Here's a quick look at the uh, Air Jordan selection. They got the LeBrons here too. And this is a new colorway. These are the uh, that double Air Force Ones right here. The double midsole, the Nike on the back. Like if this was a Sakai, you could call these like the Sakai Air Force Ones, honestly. These are 13,000 yen for these. Really dope olive black and green colorway for the fall winter. They have these sitting here still. These are the Air Jordan for what does, but they only have kid sizes left. I showed you guys these early at DJ Big Boy Chang's Ronak art center in the Philippines and uh, I just love the fact that they were able to put all these Jordan 4s into one and it doesn't look tacky like I like the fact that they kept the upper simple with the white they make it super wearable but they have like the white cement they got the military blue the fire red the breads on the other side here too so what do you guys think about these are these a copper drop let me know in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen right now so it turns out I got super super lucky when I stopped by undefeated the other day so if you guys want to check out that vlog make sure you do I'll leave it linked down below but they were completely sold out of the fearless Air Jordan 1s and they actually sold out of the men's sizing for the what the Air Jordan 4 is earlier this morning and there was a huge lineup for them yesterday when they released on Saturday but they're still sitting in Canada there's a full size run available still on Livestock's website so if you're from Canada don't pay resale for the what the Air Jordan 4 they're still available but next up we got the big store Airbnb right now and I want to show you guys all of these bait pickups we got today and boy we spent a lot of money now not all of these will be for personal use some of these will be resold you know at sneaker conventions and stuff like that and then I'll also be giving away some of the stuff too so if you see something you like I might have it for sale soon or I'll be giving it away so let's quickly run down all of these new bait pickups in Osaka Japan here's one of the tees right here this is like a bathing ape logo the circle logo right here says large red tee we have a uh, yellow camo Large T right here as well with that big, big ape head. Next up, we have that same design I showed you guys earlier with the red, this time black on black. We also have the uh, black and white city camo. These actually glow in the dark, printed by Glow in the Dark Ink. Beige uh, sand colorway of the yellow ape head T I showed you guys earlier. We got another black one right here. This one's probably one of my favorites. I really like this. Has a sort of like a, I want to say street racing kind of vibe, graffiti vibe, bape logo, bit print across the shirt in this all over red camo. Polish logo sweater. I did want to buy a red one, but they didn't have them in my size anymore. So this is a size large. In terms of accessories, boy, we went off on accessories. So let's start off with these. So we got coasters. So again, I'll be moving out early next year and I wanted to have a little bit of a head start when it comes to the decor in the house. So I figured I'd pick up some bathing ape uh, coasters right here for retail because it's the cheapest place you can buy bape in Japan. So we got one for me, the green one, 
I want for Natty, the pink one. I don't even know if she'll like using it or not, but I got one for her anyways. Wraps right here. Now, you can throw these onto your bags, like a Nike bag, for example, or a Supreme bag, and just give any kind of bag an extra flair. So if you have a basic bag, want to give it some hype beast touch, some hype beast accents, great, great uh, addition you can add to your bag. Next up, this is where I think a bulk of the money was spent besides all of the t-shirts. We have a ton of these vape masks. So we have ones like this. This is the yellow camo with the, uh, with the shark face. We also have the green camo with the shark face. Green ABC camo print. We have the red ABC camo print. We have a blue one. So we basically got all of them, pretty much all just here. And uh, these actually are going to be the uh, the major item I'll be reselling and uh, giving away. So if you guys see one you like, actually you only got one blue one, so maybe I should do a giveaway for that. But if you guys see something you like, stay tuned to the video, subscribe, notification gang, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Make sure you guys have all my socials locked down so you have the best odds at winning this stuff or buying it off me for a pretty decent price. And if you see me at SneakerCon Toronto or uh, Soul Exchange Toronto, I will be selling a bunch of these at my table, so come through and say hi to your boy. So with that said, if you did make it to the end of the video, comment down below what bait pickup you guys like the most. And uh, if you guys wanna watch more Japan vlogs like this, I have a Japan vlog playlist, the link down below over I think 69 videos. So have fun binge watching that and I'll catch you guys in the next video.